Well, here's the guest bathroom. Now, I've already gone around with the vacuum and cleaned up cobwebs and at least most of the cobwebs and stuff like that. Um, uh, unfortunately, this is a pretty small guest bathroom and like uh, other parts, like this part of the house, I'm not in here very often, so I uh, definitely, so it's easy for stuff to get neglected like that nasty ring in the commode. I may have to go to the store and get some cleaner to clean that off. We'll see what happens. You know, this countertop is, doesn't get used, but it gets dusty, so I need to clean the dust off. You know, in here is a pretty simple room. I'm just including it for completeness. Oh, yes. I'm uh, cleaning the other bathroom. And I think I'm going to just make both of these one big video. I've kind of cleaned this out a little bit over here. I've actually sprayed the commode down with some cleaner, though I clean the ba this bathroom pretty regularly. So it's going to need some TLC. I'm slowly going through my chemicals, putting some of them back, going to throw some of them away. And, uh, however, this, um, medicine cabinet thing, this is going to need some love and some work to get usable again. And yes, that's underwear you see in the mirror drying. And through this cleaning project, this is the second time I've had to put a new bag in the vacuum cleaner. Well, in the continuing house cleaning, well, I've scrubbed the bathroom counter. Uh, mind you, this is just normal maintenance for me, though, just normal cleaning, but it was, it was time to do it again, so I just did it in conjunction with this cleaning. Uh, I cleaned out the shelves down here. Got rid of a couple things I didn't need, vacuumed the shelves, so got some of that dust out of there, so that's good. I just got a lamp here so you guys could see in there. I cleaned out the underside of here and uh, kind of cleaned up these sh this wooden shelf as best I could, so that's better. Um, I've vacuumed the floor, I've kind of vacuumed all that. Um, Gave these a good vacuuming, and uh, it could be better, but this is just vacuuming it with the dusting brush on the Electrolux, which, in my opinion, did a really good job. I'm actually kind of impressed with that. All right, the subject for this morning, uh, what you've seen previously took place last night, but this morning, I'm going to take the mirrors off the medicine cabinet here, and I'm going to start going through, throwing away what I don't need, and putting a place for everything. Because there's a lot of stuff in this cabinet currently that just plain doesn't belong here. Like, I've got the instruction manual for my angle grinder. I've got these uh, audio plugs, uh, masking tape, an empty container of Vicks VapoRub. What? A Socket 775 CPU. All right, let's do a side trip here. And this is a Celeron 2.0 from 2002 with a whopping 128K of cash and a 400 megahertz front side bus. Woohoo! I actually know what that came out of. Something I need to get my hands on another one and do a video on. Because it's... Alright, so... Now you see why I've always had to never close it. And there we go. So, here in a minute I'm going to start Pulling all that off, vacuuming the shelves, and all that fun stuff. Well, here's everything I've pulled out of the cabinets. Well, not the vacuum cleaner. I'm getting ready to use that to clean up all this dust. It seems to get dusty in here. Uh, I've got all this kind of sorted out with medication and first aid and then health beauty aids. Some of this will go back in, but I just needed a way to sort it for now. So anyway, I'm going to vacuum these shelves out and see what else I can do to clean them up. Well, here's the bathroom counter. I still got to put take the vacuum out of here and find places for this random stuff. Uh, this 
Actually, I'm going to keep in here because it is for that piece of glass that broke. Uh, on this side, I've got more medical, I guess, st stuff that I use. Got Q-tips, which I use a lot, both for uh, whether it's cleaning out the ear, which you're really not supposed to do, electronic projects and such. But I want them right here where I can get to them easy. And wow, some dust just came off of that. I need to wipe that down thermometer just seems like a good place to put it for right now and then throat drops which oddly enough I have not needed this winter so that's cool um, of course it's not going to set up now so got a little more to do in here uh, as for that random piece of glass I oh gosh you can see my reflection in it I'm going there's a glass guy next to the electronics recycler and I think I'm going to just stick that in the back of my truck and say if you can use this you can have it if not I'm just gonna put it out with the trash cleanup weeks coming around here soon okay here's the bathroom I still gotta get that mirror out of here because we know that mirrors unbroken or not can cause problems especially broken ones there's a inside joke though with that uh, you can see I've got the counter all clean. Got a little dusty again with some other cleaning, so i got to clean it again. But just needs more or less a quickie dusting. And got the medicine cabinet. Ooh, look at me. And uh, just what I need right there in hand's reach. Nothing behind the mirror. And... Got the stereo and the weather radio and my backup cell phone right there charging. There's the eye toilet. The flusher sometimes has trouble. That's why I've got the lid off of it. Then when I redo this bathroom, I'm just going to replace that toilet. Even with, no matter what I do to it, I cannot get it to seem to work correctly. So anyway, I went around and I wiped down the walls. I still have a couple to do. I forgot to do the ones behind the toilet, but they don't look too bad. But let's see here. Let's see here. Talked about the mirror, the counter, that's all done. I think I've, yeah, I've shown that. I've shown that. You can see in there where the two tubs of toiletries went. My picture's crooked. I think I painted this in high school or something in art class. And, oh, I actually. The closet still needs attention. I mean, it's not bad, but I think I can make better use of this space. But frankly, I'm just happy to have this done. And, considering the fact I have not felt. I haven't been feeling the best today. I think I'm going to just save this for another day. Okay, I said I wasn't going to fool with it, but I decided I'd just go ahead and clean up the bathroom closet. So, about 99% done. I found a whole bunch of stuff in there that just needs to, you know, linens that have gotten dusty. So, that's going to go through the wash. So, I've somewhat organize it. I've got those air filters on the bottom that I use for that fan. I've said before, this bathroom's dusty, so I just use that fan to filter and clean the stuff out of the air as best I can. That and um, just kind of dries things out, keeps mildew from growing. And, uh, you know, cleaning products, trash bags, Febreze, towels, uh, personal care. My gosh, this ain't freaking Walmart. It's starting to sound that way. And then up there, I'm gonna got. I'm gonna just put sheets up here, bed sheets, linen, stuff like that. I actually, right here is a. It's actually a Salvation Army blanket. I think I got that on a mission trip. And then up here, that's gonna stay what it is. Just have my heavy blankets up there. In fact, I got another one I need to wash and stick up there. I probably should find a better spot because just having two up here and it's about packed. So we'll see what happens in that department. Uh, 
Well, it already looks a ton better than it did. I still gotta get that stuff off the floor, and I'm gonna actually clean the floor. But I've cleaned off the kitchen counters. I still got some stuff kind of on the ledge I gotta find homes for. But I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Uh, let's see here. I'm, right now I'm in the process of cleaning the sink. I want, uh, I don't have a light set up. I'll, I've got a little something interesting to show you. I actually shot earlier for a video, but I was never happy with the way it came out. So I'm just going to shoot that again. But uh, a couple weeks ago, when the weather was nice, I actually, that's all caught up now. But I actually pulled all these drawers and emptied them all and actually hosed them off outside and just let them dry in the sun, in the sunshine. So that cleaning them up real good. My counters are still kind of look kind of, yeah, but they, they just, they, I need new countertops to really fix them right. So anyway, I'm getting ready to scrub out the sink, and then I'm going to vacuum and mop the floor real good. And I just want to apologize because a lot of these videos, oh crud, I, I got clean off top of the fridge too, but. I don't think I'm going to get to that right now. Um, that's not too good either. Um, the problem is, I'll get into the project and I'll be part way through when I remember. Oh crud, I've got the film. I forgot to start filming. So, so that's what happens. Is I'll get into it because this is a project I want to get done with. And, uh, and really, I've been kind of, yeah, you hear the dishwasher, but I'm kind of doing the easiest rooms first. Because I've got a few rooms that are not going to, that are going to be very difficult to do. So, there's just so much stuff in them that I should have never let get to that point. So, anyway. Well, floor's clean. I've got the... Cleaned off the stove, not the best, but I did clean off the stove or the cooktop. Counters all cleaned up, so there's still could some improvement in here that could be had, but I'm happy with the way it looks. So I do clean this room somewhat regularly, so it didn't need much, much, but it did did need a good go through. So I need to go through all this junk here on the countertop. Good morning. You can see I've cleaned off the refrigerator. Took care of that yesterday. I just... Uh, I decided just to go ahead and do it. So I figured I'd film this really, really quick. And just show that I went ahead and cleaned it off. So all we got up here is a speaker. Which there's a story behind that I'm not going to go into in this video. And this is just a old CD thing that I put my spare change in. I see a couple stray items in there that need to come out, so it's the kind of thing. I just throw my spare change in here, and when it gets full, I take it to the bank and run it through their coin counter. And usually, one of these holds about 50 bucks worth of change. So, hey, hey, boy, is that an unusual spot for an outlet? <laughs> now, it I checked it, it is dead, there's no power going to it, but uh. I know this kitchen has been remodeled once, so my suspicion is that this used to be the refrigerator outlet. Because where the fridge is now, over here, is where the basement entrance, entrance used to be. So anyway, thought that was a little bit of a surprise. 